first part of my speech is probably going to sail over a lot of your heads unless you really like My Little Pony. But I promised a lot of people that I would do it, so <clears throat> here we go. I used to wonder what friendship could be until you all shared its magic with me. When I first came to the school, I was like young Twilight Sparkle, searching for friendship in a new place. At first, I was alone, a little pony in a big town. I didn't know anyone, and I was in a completely unfamiliar land. But people quickly accepted me and began to take me in as their friends, the teachers especially. Mr. Forster was the proud Princess Celestia of the school. <laughs> Ruling over the land with firmness, but determination and compassion. Teaching every pony the values they needed to succeed in life. Miss Near acted like the mayor of Ponyville. <laughs> taking me under her wing and keeping every pony around her in check. Miss Rankin was like Spike, a baby dragon. <laughs> Mr. Wiggett was the Princess Luna of the land. Once an integral part of the world, now departed, but his spirit lives on. Miss Murray was like Big Macintosh, a pony of few words, but when she did speak, you knew it was important. I've got some contention with the teacher over this one, but we finally agreed that Miss Adams is like derpy hooves. Being a minor part, despite being a minor part of my life, she made a, she made a large impression and had a great impact on those who she influenced. Miss Douglas was like the Fluttershy of the group. Shy and quiet, but the sweetest and most caring by far. Once I met Megan, it was clear she was like, she was Pinkie Pie. What with her pet alligator, fondness for candy, and tendency to burst into song. Miss Maryfield reminded me of Rainbow Dash. The determined badass who spews rainbows wherever she goes. <laughs> Miss Crow, Oh, where am I? Miss Crow is like rarity. Fashionable, high class, wears white a lot. <laughs> and finally, Mr. Parker was Applejack. Tough, hardworking, patient, and resolute. Yeah, Mr. Parker. <laughs> but really now, one of the most incredible things about Cypress is how accepting they are. On the surface, this seems like a pretty crazy statement. This is a group of kids who adamantly defend the East Side, interface almost exclusively with each other, and have one of the most expansive, isolating, and frankly baffling dialects I've heard this side of Australia. As a whiny PCS kid coming from the West Side, I had no idea what a loke was, what the word chundle meant, or what it was to yik too thick. Terms like Yod and Nord sailed over my head, and it was pretty hard, it was pretty hard to feel at home among all the, East, the ES fervor. But anyone who's actually spent some time among these kids will tell you that beneath all that, they really are a family. I remember not a month after I came to this school, I was walking back from Michoacan with John, Jackson, and the rest of our little gang, when a couple of guys hanging around the parking lot started mocking me. I didn't really think much of it, but on the way back, Jackson mentioned, mentioned it to one of the kids from Cyprus and he managed to assemble a group of roughly 20 students willing to be late to class and walk back to that parking lot just to teach those two guys that you don't mess with a Cypress kid. And that was awesome. I didn't even know these kids' names, and they were backing me up and defending me. And the teachers are the same. When you enter Cypress, you enter a family, and no matter what differences you have, you take care of each other. And that's pretty incredible. Anyways, I've probably rambled on for long enough, but just to sum it all up, I'd like to thank all the amazing teachers here, present and past, as well as the great class that I got to be a part of. In particular, some of my oldest friends here, Michelle, Donovan, Sequoia, and Jonathan, for being my rock when I first came to the school. My newer pals like Jessamine, Heather, Kingston, Stone, and Jamie for keeping this year wonderful. My amazing friends Jocelyn, Nicole, Marissa, and Megan for always being there to talk to no matter what. My mom and dad for supporting just about everything I do and sticking with me through all the crazy stunts I've pulled. And my absolute best friend in the world, Emmett Duggan, for not leaving my side for six years and being the most incredible pal I could ask for in the universe. Thank you all for showing me that friendship truly is magic. Yeah.